want to show you guys basically how we've been getting rid of cradle cap. So this is Ari post bath. Uh, so we're going to just show you. Oh, hi baby girl. Do you see the baby there? So we're going to show you how we do it, how we tackle cradle cap um, in this short little video. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just giving her a bath in the sink. And before I start, I'm getting her undressed and we do elimination communication. So I am going to offer the potty to her before we begin. And I am working on my coffee this morning, so don't mind me. For this, you're going to need organic coconut oil. This one's from Crisco. I feel like coconut oil is such a multitask use product. We're also going to use the Flight Bath from Pudge. So this is the travel version of their foam bath. Uh, we have the full size, size version. I honestly haven't used it with this baby because I love the Flight so much. It's so versatile and easy to store and it's just perfect. Then I'm using a couple scrub brushes. One of them's from Bye Bye Baby and it's just a little silicone brush. And then the other one's a scrub brush that we got from our hospital. I'm also using a comb for this process. New hack, when I'm putting my baby in the bath, I actually put a warm washcloth over them. It's not just for modesty for Instagram, but it also helps keep their body temperature warm. Next, I'm going to take about maybe a half a tablespoon of coconut oil. Really, guys, I don't know how much. But you're going to just rub and massage into their scalp. And this actually feels really good for the baby. At least my baby really likes it. And then I'll use that scrub brush. Uh, again, any type of scrub brush works really well and just do some circular motions all around that scalp, especially in the areas that have a lot of cradle cap. There is actually, if you search, you can actually find a cradle cap comb and brush. Uh, this, these I found tend to be sold out uh, and was really hard to find. So this video is actually showing you how to do it without that tool. Next, I'm going to take just a comb. This is from her baby safety first kit. And I'm just going to run it really close to her scalp, just running through that cradle cap to try to scrape it off the actual scalp. Be really gentle with this. And it's kind of a strange process, but it does help. So there's a couple different products that I love to use for the bath itself. Tubby Todd is a definite favorite, smells wonderful. And then I also love the Burt's Bees. I use that with my firstborn as well. And they're just really natural and great smelling products. I love them a lot. continue on with the rest of your bathing and just get them nice and clean just as you normally would. I like to sing some songs when I'm bathing and just make lots of faces. I love doing these sink baths so they can see in the mirror. Afterwards I am going to run the comb through her hair again after I dry her off just to make sure there's nothing that just stuck in the hairs themselves. that the coconut oil really needs to be rinsed out well. The first time I did it, it actually went kind of rancid and smelled gross. I did it a couple times though, meaning a couple days in a row. And then I also followed that with some lotion on her head in between bathing. 
this milk waterless bath from Bioderma. It smells really good and it's a perfect solution to just get your baby clean when you're not doing a full blown bath. After about a week or so, I wanted to show you what it looked like and this is her scalp. It's probably hard to see, but the cradle cap was completely gone. I gave her maybe four baths within a week's time. In between did that moisturizing treatment with the lotion as well as the Bioderma waterless bath. Thank you so much for watching this video and for all your support. And if you're a subscriber, thanks for just coming back. Um, and we will see you guys in our next video. Say bye! Bye, baby!